In this video, I welcome friends as crew as they help me sail across the open ocean 100 miles from St. John to St. Martin. I'm Bobby and welcome to Sailing Doodles. Thank you to our patrons for making this channel possible. They get extended cut and extra videos. In the previous video, we had lots of fun with the all-girl crew in St. John and then we had to say a sad goodbye. All right, got the boat all cleaned up and ready to go. Went home for a week and visited family. I got some friends coming. Uh, Casey, who you met like, man, episode one or two. Uh, he's been one of my long, lifelong friends, uh, fellow pilot and everything. So him and his wife are coming down. Uh, I went to their wedding last summer. It was pretty cool. I'm, uh, I feel a little blah today. I just had my second COVID vaccine shot yesterday. I felt fine yesterday, but today, ugh. I don't, I'm not like, I just, bleh. So anyway, I'm gonna push through it and uh, we're gonna go have some fun out on the water and then head to St. Martin in a couple days. So uh, they should be here any minute. They're making drinks. Ready. Right, right, welcome guys. on board the dark side. Yes, thank you for yeah. having us. I'm not gonna say anything funny. But he won't, the whole time he's gonna be the first time, really time I won't say anything oh funny God. this time. He gets the camera and he goes nuts. <laughs> so you guys, uh, I met Casey a long time ago. Yep. Hello. And this is Christina. Hello. Y'all got married uh, in August, right? Sure did. August. So. I tell you right. He was right. there, he was I there. Was, yeah, yeah. All right, pour your drink, let's get out of here. All right, go ahead and hop on, Casey. Heading up to the front, to the top. Yeah. All right, so now the deck crew is putting it away. It was already fairly late in the day, so we left the dock and it was a quick hop down to Water Island. Making us some awesome oh, dinner. Yeah. Got some burgers, and he handled his meat well with the onions and. The I handled my meat well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Our first night out on the water. Cheers. Cheers. Burgers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and a chip. And a chip. Thanks, Bobby. Hey, Thank no problem. Thanks. Thanks Whatever. for coming out, guys. It's awesome. I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Cruising is all about sunsets and good friends. Okay, man, it's all good and tight. All right, so we got the anchor up this morning and we're gonna head over to Calf Rock to do a little dive. Uh, we dove on Cal Rock, which is next to that uh, a few weeks ago, but uh, head back over there now. Let's do it. Unfortunately, all the dive moorings were taken, so we headed to Keneal Bay. So we ended up at one of my favorite spots, Keneal Bay. Has a beautiful beach, beautiful water, easy moorings. All the uh, dive moorings were taken, so we'll do we'll dive tomorrow. Right. Sounds good. Uh, we're gonna make a beach day out of it, so y'all ready to go? Ready. All right. Water. Just water. No, that's it today. All right. Let's do this. St. John has some of the prettiest water you'll see in the Caribbean. What's going on, Bobby? I got a leg cramp. What's happening here? I got leg cramps. <laughs> I think I'm a little dehydrated. Uh -oh. There's too much blood in my alcohol stream. <laughs> you need some more ice chips in that drink. <laughs> well, if you've watched the videos by now, you know this is like my favorite thing to do to new people on the boat. So we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> Every time! <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> that is really loud. <laughs> gets it, it gets him every time. He does this every day, literally. It is a nice view out there, and yes, I do this every day. You should too, guys. Watch, you know, go sailing. Enjoy it. But uh, you guys ready to go to dinner? We are ready. I'm hungry. All right, we're going to take the dinghy in, and uh, we're going to do it. Let's do it. it. All right. So now we are going to go see our friend uh, Sam at the tap room where they also have the St. John Brewers, which is really good stuff. You ready to get rolling? 
Yeah, it's good. Let's hit it. Yeah, uh, we're gonna head around see if we can get into Salt Pond, cool spot. If not, Lamisher. If not, Coral Bay. And It'll work though either way. I'll drive forward. You pull up on the. Just pull up on the. Pull up on the bridle and then unhook it. That's it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. It was just a few miles down the south side of St. John to Salt Pond. My crew member is in the water by the morning because he, number one, almost fell in, and then he dropped the hook, so. Hey, Casey. Hello. How you doing, Casey? Good, man. Nice swim. The water looks beautiful, man. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just dove right in that. We yeah, don't just dove no, right in, man. You don't need anything. You just jump in, and that's the way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of swell wrapping around here, so it's not a very calm anchorage. It's beautiful, but when the swell's out a little bit out of the south like it is now, it's not a good spot. So we hung out here for a couple hours, saw the sights. We were gonna paddleboard in and do some hiking, but the wind is really strong and it would have been hard. So we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna move around over to uh, another little bay around the corner that's really calm, and uh, that way we get a good night's sleep because we got a long day of sailing tomorrow. We headed around the point and then up to one of the most protected bays in the Virgin Islands, Princess Bay. So it's not quite as pretty as the other place, but it really isn't bad. But I mean, this is uh, about the calmest anchorage you're gonna get around here. Dead flat, pretty nice. So we'll get a good night's sleep tonight uh, and then up early before the sun and underway before the sun. So we'll do it. Sun's not quite up yet, but we're getting ready to go here. Starting the engines uh, to get underway. I'm gonna early start, already checked the oils. Um, let's do it. We were planning on about a nine hour trip, the 100 miles across to St. Martin. We are on our way. Uh, already gone a couple miles here. The sun is still another 10 minutes from coming up. Sea state seems okay so far, not too bad. We'll see once we round the corner here of the BVI. Uh, and keep it well south of the BVI here. They're kind of patrolling the waters, not letting anybody cut through their waters. So. Uh, which our course can really take us right through it. So we're gonna go south of them and then turn towards St. Martin. Um, you know, there's all the BDI right there. We can't go. So on our way, already covered over 10 miles. So uh, only 79 miles to go. Uh, conditions are pretty good. It's 12 knots of breeze. It should be dropping off to nine or 10 knots as the day goes on. I don't know, the seas are four or five feet but uh, should be dropping off to three feet as the day goes on. So, not too bad. You know, doing this in a sailboat right now would be kind of miserable though. And four or five foot seas, motoring straight into, you know, the breeze and only getting maybe six knots out of it. We're doing 11. Uh, yeah, okay, you could sail, but you'd have to tack. Instead of going 90 miles, you'd be doing 180 miles if you actually just sailed the whole way and you'd be beating into it. So, motor yacht headed into the wind, this kind of condition is definitely the winner. We got about 45 miles to go. How you doing? Halfway. I'm, yeah, you feeling all right? I'm in my happy place right now. <laughs> Casey down there is uh, a little under the weather. Taking it easy. Taking it easy. Taking it easy. So, <laughs> but uh, halfway. So we got. We've been going for about four hours and 20 minutes or so. So we got another four hours and 20 minutes or something. So uh, we're looking at you know just under nine hours. So that's pretty good. That'll put us in about. Uh, uh, let's see here, it looks about 2.40 in the afternoon, and that's good because the bridge opens at 3 o'clock. So, we'll, yeah, we'll kind of adjust our timing, another, well, reevaluate about an hour and a half out, and uh, see if we need to slow down or speed up or do whatever. I don't know if it shows up out there, that was 10 miles away. We passed one earlier that uh, was only 2 or 3 miles away. There are several cruise ships all headed basically the same direction we are but uh, they're only doing two knots. Um, we'll um, see them there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they'll be there tomorrow. So I guess maybe that's just like their most economical speed. Or they don't have somewhere to be, so I don't know. I'm sure they're empty, but. Right. Well, dolphins, but it's too wet to go up there to look at them, but I'm sure they're swimming in our, our bow wave right now. 
St. Martin is in the distance. We got uh, 20 miles to go, so uh, we'll be there about a half hour before the bridge opens to let us in the bay, because it only opens a few times a day, so I think we timed it perfect. Be fine. Live your life. Dream big, don't forget to be kind. Live, it's your life. Rocks are meant to be picked up and thrown New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown Alright, that is now officially the largest yacht I've seen in person. Uh, there was 456 feet. I saw one the other day. That's 466 feet. That's motor yacht Nord. I don't know. Launched last year. So I could not find the yellow quarantine flag, so a yellow Terry Croft will have to do. It's not a big deal. So basically, when, you, when you're pulling into a new port, you uh, fly the quarantine flag, yellow flag, meaning you have not been cleared by customs or anything. Today's time, that quarantine means something totally different. That's correct. <laughs> they want to make sure we uh, are tested and all that. So and we, now we're waiting on this bridge. It opens at 3 o'clock, and we got 25 minutes. Glad we made it for this one though, because the next yeah. opening is until five. It's a nice run though, for real. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Good time. See, oh. we got here at like two, so we left at what five forty-five. So call it six. That'd be yeah, eight hours, just over. Easy. Yep. We are waiting for this bridge to open. Uh, it only opens like every two hours, and sometimes even less than that. So you know, there's quite the line up here to get in, uh, and it's only fifty feet wide. So. No. It's not too bad for us. We're only 16 feet wide, but there's some big yachts that come through here. Yeah. Two feet to spare. Yeah, yeah there was that one. It's like two feet each side. Of it. We fly around like paper planes. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us. Still, they want to tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Uh, all right, guys, we made it to St. Martin. Yes. Cheers. Oh, y'all are sharing a glass of wine. All right, St. Martin. There you go, made it to St. Martin. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Eight hours, yeah, I mean, I thought it was a pretty successful, you know, trip. That's for, a good run, yeah. yeah. That really good. No issues. For the first, uh, first real open sea voyage, yeah. 30 minutes before the bridge went up. Yeah. Yeah, good timing. Good. On Although, I do have an issue, I think, with the steering, gonna have to solve. Uh, works fine under the autopilot, it felt, really bad manual steering like yeah. i had to turn it a lot mm -hmm. to get it to do so i'm thinking that either it could be something as simple as just low fluid on the manual steering side but so. your driving skills put us right here by this big yacht here so <laughs> it, it took a couple attempts but me and christina we, just we put an offer on by the way. Oh, yeah. oh right yeah i made the uh, see if they accepted it the, yeah the serena mm -hmm. well, look look for serena. sailing bussards sailing on that boat. <laughs> sailing bussards yeah. yeah so we are all cleared in um to st martin Yep. So we are going to go to dinner here in a little bit. So technically this is low season now, but May, getting up, you know, May 1st. And uh, it's awesome because it's super cheap in the marinas now. $50 a day to keep the boat here. Which is, it's already normally way cheaper than the U.S. Virgin Islands, but it can't beat that. And the, and the best thing about St. Martin so far is that like no masks required or anything. It's like a free-for-all. It's awesome. Yeah. Teeth and face. I'm not used to it though. To my uh, pocket still. As I know we brought masks just in case because it's. I feel naked with that one it's now. It's weird. Let right? me ask you now. How many different masks do you have actually? Oh gosh, I bought a pack of like a hundred. See, I only have you one have blue one that I keep cleaning and washing. <laughs> oh, no, so I have used it. Oh it. no. It's like no. A, you need a new mask. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm telling you. Oh. Everybody want to see it out there? You've been look, the same mask same, for how long? Same mask. You wash it in and the shower. I wash it in the shower when I go like on the road or on the trip. No. It's no. beautiful. Look, like, new it's mask. Really good new mask. Alright, cheers guys. Successful day. And there is Bailey's in her coffee. Yep. We made it. First coffee though, because he had no coffee on the boat for four days. Five well, days. no, okay, so I bought coffee because <laughs> I don't drink coffee, and I was like, they were going to drink coffee, so I bought coffee, and it was yeah. not Beef. ground. <laughs> I didn't realize it, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I got it now. We're good. <laughs> Thank you so much to Casey and Christina for helping me get the boat to St. Martin, and congratulations on your wonderful marriage. 
Thank you to our patrons for making this channel possible. They get the extended cut version of this video, and there'll be lots of extra bonus videos coming up soon.